Let's check out this cheap $80 radio. You're definitely going to be surprised. So we are in the Gold Jeep. And I haven't had a radio in this for a while. Lately, I've been having to drive it since my other Jeep is broken. But um, I threw this in just quickly. And let me tell you, this radio has been awesome. But first, let me go ahead and put it in right. And then I'll go through the settings and I'll show you everything. So it's been a month since I recorded the video. But I'm going to tell you right now, I want to give a huge shout out to Steven Muddy Mitten on Instagram. He's the one that told me about the radio, 80 bucks on eBay. I mean, I had to try it out. He wanted to know if it was good or not, so I bought it and I put it in this Jeep. It surprised me, so keep watching the video, but shout out to you, Steven. And this is the box it comes with. Nothing special on the box. There's not even a manual in here, but on the radio there is, so you can check that out. You got um, all these options here. It does have CarPlay, which is what I really wanted. And this is a single DIN, so it'll go in easier than a double DIN on this Jeep. We don't have to cut anything out. So if you want to change out the radio, the first thing you're going to need is this Metro wire harness. I'll have it linked down below. There's two different versions. I believe 01 and down has a different style, but I'll have them both linked down below. This plugs into a stock harness so you don't have to cut any of the wires. And what I like to do on these is I like to do these. Thanks for interrupting Jeep. I like to use male and female connectors on these harnesses so I don't have to keep cutting and like soldering or using butt connectors. This way I could just unplug this harness and put a new one in. This is from the old radio so I'm going to unplug this and then we're going to take the new one and put ends on it. That way we can plug it into our harness. It just makes uh, swapping radios really easy to do this and you save the wires. You also do have to pick up one of these cables. I also linked that below and here we have the stock panel that goes there for the radio and you will need this metric kit to go behind it so we can install a single DIN. Luckily, I saved that from my first ever radio swap that I did on my green Jeep, silver technically. I'm glad I saved that so I don't have to buy it again. So it also comes with this cable here for the radio. This is like for the subs, sub out, video. And then we also have this one. This one says camera as well. So we'll go ahead and connect this. I don't have a camera, so I have to add that later. Last, we got our GPS wire here and that goes right there and we do have two usbs uh one thing i forgot to order was the usb plug that i like to put down here i have it on my other jeep so i'll do that later on i'll just run the wires down towards it but let me go ahead and connect all this put it up there and then let's go through the radio so we got all the wiring pretty much done if you want to make this look really nice and clean so you don't see all the wires you can use some gaff tape and wrap it up next step is i am going to run a cable from underneath the steering wheel here, there's this gray plug. There's this red and yellow wire. That's for your steering wheel control. I want access to that. So I'm going to add a wire to here, run it all the way up here so I can connect it to the radio. That way we can use the buttons on the back. All right, so we got all this back together. We got our orange wire for the steering wheel controls. I tried looking on here, but I didn't see the red and yellow wire. So that's why I ran this one. It only takes a second. It really doesn't take much time to do that. So now we got our two USBs right here. We have the main wire harness here. We have the antenna. Now, the only thing is before putting this on, since this is bigger than the hole on the stock piece here, we are going to put this on first and then the radio afterwards. In this radio, they have these little side pieces here. That's where you stick the key in to release um, the radio from this bracket if you ever need to take it off and they are included in the kit so i actually figured out what that extra piece for the antenna is so you can connect this here so it'll slide into your single din or else it will not fit so this is what the finished product looks like it's not blocking the vents i didn't have to cut anything behind the dash under here um the radio does stick out a little and since the bezel is curved the sides kind of open up a little bit. I tried to spray paint it the best I could. You can see it on camera, but in person, not really. The sides are kind of exposed. That doesn't really bother me, but in case it bothers you, I wanted to show that. Now, like I said, I didn't connect the USB ports down there, but I do have them just hanging out right here. And eventually I will do the port in here, but that allows you to go with CarPlay on this radio. It does have CarPlay, but it is wired. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And as you can see, it booted up. As you can see, it booted up pretty quick. This is a little bit bigger than a single DIN radio. I mean, you can kind of see the size difference. So the screen honestly is not bad. The radio itself, it's actually pretty fast. It, I thought it would be slow for 80 bucks. Not bad. Has Chrome, Maps, Bluetooth, Equalizer. That's pretty good to have. And if you keep swiping, you'll come up to here, Instructions. Right here gives you a manual of the radio. You want to look through that because it doesn't come with one in the box 
Now, this is another thing I want to show you. This radio does not have any buttons anywhere. So everything is touch on here. There's a little circle. It'll be off to the side. So click that circle. And from that circle, you go to home, volume, back, uh, see the different apps that are open. But you do have to use this button here to adjust the settings real quick. And this thing can move anywhere on the screen on the edges, side to side. I guess not up here, just side to side. So this is a radio on one. It's pretty loud. Honestly, this radio sounds really good. Here are your settings. So you're gonna wanna go in here, go to car settings down there, and then, oh, right here, learning type. So right here, you go to enters SWC interface, and this allows you to program the buttons. I couldn't get these buttons on this side to program for some reason, just the middle one, but not the up and down. So I don't have next or previous, but I do have mute home volume. So if I press the middle button here, it should go home. So now let's connect it to CarPlay so you guys can see what it looks like. And we do have to go over here on Z-Link. And this is what CarPlay on here looks like. I thought that it would be very like stretched out since it is a small screen, but usually this is a little bit smoother, but since I am recording right now with the phone, I think it's lagging a little bit, but honestly it works really well. I haven't had any issues with it. And one thing to notice here to get out of the this screen here, you can faintly see those uh, little, that little button on the side right there. That's your buttons right there. So you can exit the menu. And it goes off to the side again where you left it. So just be aware that these are your buttons. It's all touch screen. But honestly, for the 80 bucks, this radio is worth it. It's pretty bright. You guys can see it dimming there with the lights. It's kind of hard to see, but it does dim down. The screen has a protector as well, but for 80 bucks, I mean, this is pretty fast. It works good, the CarPlay works. It is wired CarPlay though, just so you guys are aware. So yeah, overall, this radio is pretty simple to install. It does stick out a little bit, but honestly, it looks good and it has CarPlay, so that's what matters. And like I said, this is $80 on eBay. They're a little bit cheaper than Amazon. Amazon, you get a better return policy if you have to. I will say though, I did get this radio. I plugged it in. It didn't work. I had to send it back. I bought a three base, so I had to send it back and wait for the seller to check out the radio, make sure it was bad. And then they sent me a new one. The new one has worked fine. I've had it for like two weeks now. I just never installed it. I just kind of kept it there just to test it out, make sure that it was going to be good. And since it was, I decided to finally put it in and make a video on it for you guys. So make sure to click the links down below if you want to pick one up. Anyways, that'll be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.